Okay, you guys, I'm feeling the Christmas spirit slowly creeping in. At first I was like, am I even gonna decorate this year? But yes, I am, because now all of a sudden I feel like Christmas. It's probably because we had a Friendsgiving on Sunday because we don't travel for Thanksgiving, but all of our friends do. So we try to have a big feast with them before they all leave town. And so it messes with you psychologically. I feel like Thanksgiving's over, even though for everybody else, it's two days away. Ours was on Sunday. We had the full feast, amazing turkey and cornbread dressing and gravy and cranberry sauce, everything, all the good stuff, pumpkin pie. And so everybody's traveling. It's gonna be a rainy, cold Thanksgiving here. So we're gonna be home cozy, us four. Even my mom's traveling because she feels like Thanksgiving passed. So she's gonna go see the family in Florida and we're staying here. So I'm looking around. I loved my fall decor this year, loved it. It was so simple, so natural. And I, I go simple anyway with every seasonal decorative change because I, I don't wanna, I don't like clutter because I like to dust frequently. I always feel like clutter looks messy. So I really like simple little touches of things here and there. I loved my fall decor this year and I'm ready to revamp my Christmas um, decor. I'm thinking ahead. So I'm excited because I have oranges and I can dry them now instead of the day I decorate feel like I have to do everything. So I'm going to go ahead and do some of the things I did last year, but I also have some new ideas. I want to go to Hobby Lobby and just scope out the place, see what simple little touches I could find and get this place festive for the Christmas season. We threw away our fake Christmas tree last year, which we had for like a decade. And I found a $50 one on Amazon and I haven't opened it yet. So I don't know how bad it looks, but honestly, fake. I grew up with a real tree and I love the smell and it's beautiful but it's so expensive and it's an annual expense and I just don't want to do that. I would rather spend that 70 bucks on a present for someone or two or three people, you know? So having a fake tree is a good investment. In my opinion, I grew up with a real one. I never wanted a fake one, but now I think it's what we'll always do. So um, I got to open that and see the quality of it. We'll set that up. And I do want to purge through my Christmas decor and give it away to families that are younger that don't you know like when we were a young family we didn't have the money to just go and buy a bunch of christmas decorations so if i could pass them on to someone like that it would be a huge blessing to me and hopefully to them too so that's my plan to purge first i'm going to probably dehydrate some orange slices today i'm going to go to hobby lobby let me show you my fall decor so that as we gradually transform the house from fall to Christmas, you can see the changes. flip them every hour for about 11 hours today then they'll be ready and maybe tomorrow or the next day I can make my garland okay it's time to purge my box of Christmas stuff I think I purged last year but I also didn't plan ahead much last year so now that I have a really 
good vision of what I'm going for and want. I think that I can purge more this year. So I already am not sure if I want to keep this or not. This would be the table runner, which is beautiful, but it's very new. So it makes me feel bad moving on from it so soon. I think I got it last year. So this is going to be a, a maybe because I would like something more simple if possible, but it is very pretty. So I know I got this last year as well for the mantle. I found it at Walmart and I thought it was really, really nice. I don't know if I'll put it on the mantle again this year, but I know I'm keeping it. Some of these things are going to be really old and I'm not sure what to keep, what to, what to get rid of. I got some gold ribbon. I already know I don't want it. I want red. I don't know why. And you're going to see in years past, I never wanted red for Christmas. I, I did blue and silver. But last year in particular, red was like back in my life. I wanted red for Christmas for the first time ever in my marriage. When we first got married, we did all blue and silver and white. And we kept that stuff for 17 years. Well, I really want to switch it up this year. So I'm ready to move on from quite a bit of these things. We've got lights. I think I'm going to have to buy new lights this year. Oh, and this is garland. That's right. I hung this garland all around the dining room window. But this is like not a very nice looking garland. So I remember it being really, you know, not the best. But again, I'm not going to go crazy splurging on really realistic looking greenery because that gets expensive so i can't do everything but i'm gonna do what i can this is out for sure this is kind of terrible i've kept these for almost 10 years the boys made these in 2015. i love them i put them up every christmas but they're a little crushed They've never been crushed before, so I need to probably store them differently this year. Color lights, I don't want. White lights, I do want. I think I'm going to retire from this Christmas tree skirt, whatever you call it. I'm gonna get a new one. I will probably, this is also, may or may not be possible to replace my Christmas ornaments. Um, I would love to get new ones, red and I don't know what other color, <laughs> but I don't know if I wanna keep these. Um, the glittery stuff is the kind of stuff that I'm kind of over and I just wanna go for a more toned down, natural kind of look maybe red and gold actually i just thought of that um so all of the ornaments that we made as crafts and that we've had in the family as beautiful little collectors that we've collected through the years are not the things that i would purge i would mostly purge just like all the blue stuff and maybe not even all of it just some of it um to not have an overwhelming amount of blue and silver um, I do think it's time to replace our tree topper. This thing's been broken for a few years and we've made it work. Um, like the plastic part that connects to the tree, but again, it's not um, that secure. So sometimes it just falls off. So it would be nice to get a new one. Um, this was from the dollar store. I don't feel bad at all getting rid of that. And I've used it for years. these I've used for like 17 years so well not 17 years because our first two Christmases we didn't have Christmas decorations so for 15 years we probably had little cute stuff but not like a real tree I remember when we bought our first house in 2007 we bought our first tree and all of these Christmas ornaments at Lowe's actually or Walmart I feel like it was Lowe's honestly but I don't know these are all the Christmas balls, blue and silver, blue, silver, blue, silver, blue, silver. Hmm. And these little, yeah, 
yeah, I think it's going to be a big time revamp here because everything is glittery and that's what I don't want. These are all beautiful memories. Great Smoky Mountains National Park, cute. And we have one from the Ark also. So, <sighs> I didn't realize I would wanna be moving on from so many things. Really cute stuff. I guess I'll be excited to pass them on to people that don't have this. I've had this for like 15 or 16 years. Adorable, and it still smells amazing from the candle that originally was in here but it melted in the attic in our old house <laughs> i really thought that i bought some red ribbon last year i bought this garland i think this was last year and i'm already like hey <laughs> i don't know maybe i bought this too impulsively it's not terrible but it just isn't the vibe I'm going for, but still I'm not going to move on from that just yet. And these were from the dollar store, so they're red, but they're very glittery, so I don't know if I'm wanting to keep that. So I think the main things I want are natural greenery, or even if it's fake, natural looking greenery, white lights. I'm dehydrating those orange slices. I want thick red ribbon, berries, and I love my beeswax candles and brass candle holders. The brass candle holders have been in the family my whole life. I've had those my entire life, so I'm so happy that I'm using them now, and I love the way they look with the beeswax candles. So that with the orange slices and the red berries and the greenery and red ribbon is going to be gorgeous so I really want just really natural simple not sparkly shiny just the white lights and I think that's what I'm going for plus my nativity set and even our stockings are a little more you know flashy than I would like like this is I think this one's mine um but this one's really cute this is Joelle's or Ivan's and this is the other boys so these are cute I might try to find some more um, old-fashioned looking ones like this for me and Hector here's some berries I got these at the dollar store actually that's gonna be adorable and oh I forgot Hector has this one that's really cute so I just need one I got these at five below like three or four years ago and then of course our advent tree and I don't think I could replace this. This is too, this is too traditional. We put this up on the mantle and do our little advent ornaments. And we've done these little cheesy construction paper ones for years. But every year I wanted to make newer, better ones. And I just kept putting it off. And now my kids are 12 and 13. And I can't make newer, better ones because nothing will be better than these because these are the ones we've used their entire childhood. So... I'm not going to update them. I'm going to keep them the good old-fashioned little construction paper version we made from the start. I have a bunch of Christmas cards. Oh my goodness. I'm glad I'm opening this now because I do not need to buy Christmas cards. Whoa. And... Nativity set stuff. These are from Hobby Lobby years ago. And they're going to be a maybe because they are the colors I'm wanting. But they are very sparkly. But still, if everything else is not sparkly, then maybe those won't feel too much. Mistletoe. And my little Spanish Feliz Navidad. So... I love that. So I think pretty much I want some garland, some red ribbon, some new red Christmas balls. 
I definitely want two little small wreaths to go on the front doors of my little tea cabinet. And I definitely need more lights. I only have one little bundle of white lights, so we need to buy more lights. Maybe a stocking for me, maybe not. I'll just probably keep that one. And a new skirt thing for the Christmas tree and a new Christmas tree topper. So it's going to be a fun shopping day tomorrow. I'll take you with me to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> slices came out I made them a little thicker than I did last year so they're much more hardy and I could tell they're just better than last year the color came out lovely so I'm excited for that I have planned out my decorating schedule <laughs> I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby today first get a few things and then at some point today, probably the warmest part of the day, me and the boys are gonna go out and gather as much greenery as we can from the cedar, the juniper, the pines out there. I'm gonna make a large wreath for the front door, two light, little tiny wreaths for the tea cabinet, and we'll see how much garland I make. I don't wanna go overboard because I don't want pine needles all over the house, but I have like all these ideas of where I could put it and it's like, no, we don't need it around every border of every part of our house. So I need to decide for sure the mantle, maybe the dining room window, maybe the kitchen window, but oh, I already think that's overkill. So I might just do the mantle and the dining room window, but then I'm like, what about the kitchen window? And what about this uh, opening? That would be so nice. So I don't know. I don't want to go crazy because then it becomes messy and there's bugs in those things too. So that's the plan. Garland, wreaths, and Hobby Lobby. And then tomorrow we'll do the tree and the rest of decorating. So it's going to be a fun day. <music> because all the little touches around the house, that's more of something I do. So making the garland now, hanging it, decorating the mantle and putting little things around the house and leaving the tree completely untouched until maybe later tonight or tomorrow to do as a family is gonna work out perfectly. And Hector works tonight late, so that'll buy me some time to make sure that I can complete the goals I have with the garland. Um, so, let me show you what I got and what I envisioned doing. First of all, I could not find a, a topper that I liked. So I was brainstorming on the way here. How can I like not have to go buy one or order one? I just want free. This shape of a star is what I want, but I want like a more like a gold, but not super shiny. And so I was thinking I have some gold acrylic paint. And if I paint this whole thing, including the stand, but, and then I get rid of this, 
uh, wire, maybe this will work. So I'm gonna try that and see how it looks. If not, I'm gonna go check Walmart and then last uh, place I'll check would be Amazon. And then if I don't find anything, then I'm not sure what I'll do. So this I picture on the mantle and the boys were saying, let's make that our new Jesse tree. So this might be our new Jesse tree. Um, I didn't think they'd be all right with switching it up after all these years, but if they are, then I'm fine with it because I don't want a shiny uh, silver tree if I don't have to have it. So that'll go on the mantle. I got this as a maybe table runner. Um, it has like poinsettias and it's kind of lace. I may not like it, but it was only $2. So I wanted to try it. Everything was 60% off, you guys saw. So I, oh, a dead stink bug, gross. It got into my Christmas stuff. Okay. So anyway, that was only two bucks. So I thought it was worth a shot. And if I don't like it, I could take it back. I got three strings of hundred white lights. I got this ribbon, two of them, just in case, and to have leftovers for next year. And I got, this was the only solid red that I could find that I really liked, but I wanted something different. I wanted what I got last year, and I don't know where I got it. Maybe Dollar Tree, and I might go there and see if I can find it, because I love the ribbon I got last year. Hobby Lobby is a store that I cry a lot at first of all you can't read too much there because then you just like get really emotional second of all the music is all worship music and it's all worship music that i haven't sung in years so it reminds me of my first coming to christ and i'm just like worshiping reading emotional things crying at the store and it happens every time it's ridiculous so if you ever run into me at hobby lobby i will probably be teary-eyed it's just the way i shop there so this is the only sign I got, but I just love, I couldn't even read it without crying. What is wrong with me? Oh, come, let us adore him. That's like what Christmas is all about. Let's come and adore the savior that came to save us. So I love this and that will go somewhere. Not sure where yet. I got some red, kind of like splotchy-ish kind of red balls. And then a more muted red this one was much larger packaging this is 12 and we may have gotten too many which i'm keeping the receipt so i could take back if we got too much of anything and then this is the gold we went with it's a little less uh it's shiny but it's not like super glittery um let's see more red balls and then this is not something I would have picked, but Joel really, really wanted it. And I wanted their opinion valued. So I got it. If we, I'm sure it'll look beautiful, but it's not really what I was going for. These are beautiful. Little Noel, peace, um, joy, little jingle balls. And they're kind of the, more like the gold I was going for. So just to fill in a little gold because this is the only gold balls that we got so I wanted something else and then we got this very simple red tree thing skirt I guess you call it I really don't know what you call it honestly I almost took this out of the line when I got to the register but then I convinced myself to go ahead and get it just a little pretty potpourri thing um I don't even know where I'll put it, but it's either gonna go in the entryway table or the center, the coffee table in the living room, we'll see. Then I got several of these berries, probably to like stick into the garland that I make, into different vases around the house with other greenery and whatever else I can just stick it into, probably the mantle as well, which there will be garland there. So anywhere I put garland, I um, could stick some of this in. Um, and vases is the main reason I got this. This will be to replace my little wreath over the kitchen sink in the window. I'm hoping this is not too big for my tea cabinet two little ones on each little door of the tea cabinet hanging with ribbon 
and I got several of these. These were less than a dollar. So I got several of them for the same thing to poke them into the wreaths and the garland and wherever else seems appropriate. I mean, seriously, they're 99 cents, but they were 60% off. So it's amazing. And I got some string for sewing the orange slices together. Just two more bags. Hooks, more lights, more of those little things. Okay, this is super cute. This is, I don't know what you call them, the things to wrap around the tree. I got three different kinds. So I got, this is like the exact theme I'm going for, which I was hoping I would find some pre-made things like this at Hobby Lobby, but I didn't know for sure because I haven't seen any of it. So it's got, you know, the berries, cinnamon stick pine cones, a little strand around the tree, super cute. I think I only got one of those. And then these beautiful bells, just one of these to go around the tree. And I got two of these to go around the tree. So just plain red beads. It looks so beautiful, simple. So hopefully with those four strands, it'll look nice and full. Then I got this because it was the exact gold I wanted. And it says believe because what else is there, right? And just cute little pine cones. some hooks for hanging, some needles for with a huge eye so I can just put the string in fast and easy for the oranges um, to go with that string, some floral wire to wrap up all the bundles of greenery for the wreath and for the garland. And that's everything. So very successful shopping trip. The only thing I didn't find was the topper, but I'm gonna see if I can make this happen. I don't know if I love walking my trails in the spring or fall more. I feel like the fall more because everything is so empty. I can go in the woods and everything's just brown and cleared out and easy to walk. And it brings back so many sweet memories of when we first moved here. It's very nostalgic walking in the fall. It makes me very happy, simultaneously sad because I miss Jax and I miss Roxy. Oh my, a limb just fell in the woods. There's so much noise in the woods today. Birds. Oh, my son's back there, that's why. Oh, then did not fall. <laughs> He's breaking sticks. Um, but I hear acorns falling like crazy. Birds rustling through the leaves. And um, I heard a deer run off, but I didn't see it. And now I heard Joel. <laughs> I seem to have mostly junipers and I've only found one live cypress so far, and I have a few pines that I'll get a few pieces from, but it's gonna mostly be juniper, which is fine. It's beautiful.
hope you guys had fun shopping with me and purging with me and decorating and that you feel inspired to make your home lovely for your family in this beautiful season where we celebrate the savior of the world, the joy to the world that he brought good news that the savior has been born. God bless you guys. See you next time.